first of all, thanks for coming in, Minister, and your staff. Um, as a person, I look at a, well, probably everyone who was here does a good few appeals. Um, and in fairness, I find them pretty good or pretty quick, you know, to, in fairness. Just one thing you might take note of, and it can happen to anybody, um, and it's no reflection on the person that, or on the appeal that I was doing. Um, if someone, if an appeals officer, an independent appeals officer happened to get sick, um, while, and it's not their fault, I'm not, to, you know, taking aim at anybody, um, and there was a sort of a, a missing link there that no one else could uh, take over the case, and if someone, through no fault of their own, could be out here, year, anyone can get sick, and they could, you could be left waiting and waiting and waiting, and I'm just wondering, is there anything that the department can do to sort of cover that part of it? That's all, because I do a lot of oral appeals, and in fairness, they're pretty quick, and they're, you know, I could never, in fairness, fault any of them, or even from the Department of Agriculture, whoever it be against you. Everyone always shows up and is pretty... It's, 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 I find an oral appeal very good, um, but I'm just saying it's one thing I found. It's not a criticism, it's just... Uh, I saw one instance where it took a long time. Thanks, Gary. Let me ask Linda to respond to that, if that's in order. Thanks. Yeah, perfect, Thanks. Minister, yeah. Thank you, Deputy. Yes, I think the case you're referring to, from my knowledge, um, the oral hearing had been held in that particular case, yeah. and it's quite difficult to reassign it. Yeah. Um, I'm, not having, I'm not having a... No, absolutely, yeah, but you know, normally we would reassign them if, if an appeals officer goes out sick. In this case, the oral hear, hearing had been held, and I think um, we didn't want to kind of mess the farmer around by reassigning yeah. it again, and I suppose the sick leave uh, extended longer than we thought it would, yeah, so yeah, apologies that. can happen. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just wondering, is there anything um, on appeals that can maybe re-look at something if there was somebody through no fault of their own that they'd be out sick mm -hmm. on be it the appeals officer or be it some of them it's the appeals officer really is the person absolutely and there is a there is we can reassign it to another appeals officer it may be the case that they'd have to hold another oral hearing as the appeals officer to reassign to wouldn't have been present at the first one but certainly we can we can look at that thank you thank you okay we'll move to section one of the bill and um does, does, can, does section one stand as part of the bill? Then section eight, Cahirlock amends section 10 of the Agricultural Appeals Act and introduces a time limit of six months for seeking a review of a decision of an appeals officer pursuant to section 10 <coughs> where there was no time limit in place before. It provides that the decision of an appeals officer under section 10 is final, subject to a review to the Agricultural Appeals Review Panel and of course the High Court, and clarifies that any reference to a revised decision in this section includes a decision not to revise a decision. Is that, um, just a question on that. Is that when you go, say, <clears throat> generally when you have, a, say you deal with the department for um, a review in, be it Port Leash or whatever in Wexford, um, and you have to have an appeal in, in am I right, and saying in three months to the independent or the appeals office, and is this then after the oral hearing or whatever is over that this... Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, it's at that point, not before. Yeah. That is six months after that. After the oral hearing. Okay, all right. That's after the decision following yeah, the oral yeah, hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, lovely. Not before that. Lovely. The maiden's point, if he, is it that you'll come back and talk to us if we put it through now that at report stage it would be able to put the amendments. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well, we wouldn't be able to put it through now because we don't have yeah, an amendment. Yeah, but but what agree. I'm saying is that, yeah, I mean, obviously it's open to yourself, yeah. Deputy Mayden, to put in that amendment. Well, yeah, well, it, yeah, you can put in an amendment even if it's not discussed here. You can, can put it in You can put it in once it was discussed here. Once yeah. it was discussed. So yeah. given that you've raised it, that gives you the platform to actually put it in as an amendment. But well, we'd certainly consider the point you've made in advance of that. Do you look at the head of it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Right, does section nine so stand as part of the bill? Yeah. 